Welcome to another episode of Flexbone 101. Today we are going to talk about the empty formation. So you might be wondering, coach, why are we talking about the empty formation? And so I was talking to my head coach the other day, and we were really talking about how an empty formation really puts a defense on its heels. And if you're a flexbone coach like me, you probably enjoy making defensive coordinators' life a living hell. So we started having a conversation that more flexbone teams should come out week one and just run five to ten plays of empty. And that way, every defensive coordinator for the rest of the season is going to have to waste more practice time figuring out their audibles against empty. And if you really want to rub it in, you can shift into empty instead of coming out in it and then almost guarantee that your week one opponent will take a timeout. Aside from that, this is also uh, a debut. We have a new segment uh, that I will talk about at the end of the episode uh, in you know a few minutes. So if you are a high school coach, um, you're definitely going to want to hang in for that. Uh, this brilliant idea was brought to you by uh, Samoa Stout by Penrose. They're not a sponsor, but it's delicious. So let's jump into empty. So an empty formation is really simple. Uh, it's just like our your regular basic base formation, flex formation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we're going to trot that B back out into a slot receiver position. So what this does is the defense is going to have to adjust to this. And there's also a few other ways that you can play with empty to get the mismatches you want to run the type of plays that you want to run. So, for example, this is basic empty. We can also run an over empty and put both X's or both wide receivers on the same side. This is especially great if a team is going to match and bring their cornerback over at the same time. So you've got a you know outside linebacker safety uh, basically having to set the edge by himself. We can also run empty tight. We can bring both of those wide receivers inside and give more of a nasty split look uh, to force the defense to have to play up in the box and give them more gaps that they have to defend. My personal favorite is empty diamond. Uh, where we're going to bring both A-backs and the B-back onto the same side in a diamond formation. Uh, if the defense does not match that, throw an immediate pass to the B-back and take your three guys versus however many they have out there and hope for a big play. I guarantee you, you probably only get one shot at it. The first play I want to talk about is... Uh, I marked it as rocket crack switch. Uh, depending on your tags and your terminology and your rules, uh, that may change, so don't uh, get too mad at me for this. Uh, but the basic concept is that we're going to run rocket uh, to the side where we have an extra guy. So if the defense doesn't shift over with the B-back out there, um, you can also run this to the other side if they overcommit to that side. But the idea is our, our play side tackle and our play side A back are still going to continue uh, to the outside. I'm actually, I like to switch this with the outside wide receiver. Let the receiver come in and for that safety. Um, if the corner goes with him, it helps. Then the A back can easily hook him if he doesn't maintain his outside responsibility. And everything else remains the exact same as Rocket. Uh, if you want to freeze the backside, and I actually forgot to draw this up. You can make sure the backs or that the quarterback rolls out to the other side because it might freeze those backside backers for just enough time so that they can't make pursuit. Another play that we can run out of empty is the load option. Um, ideally, this is going to look just like triple for a lot of you. Um, you'll notice I actually cheated the B back up almost as a, uh, a nasty split receiver here on the line. Uh, he's not going to go out for a pass, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, the idea being from triple, your B-back is going to block the handoff key, and it's basically just going to be a, a single read between the quarterback and the outside backer. Uh, your A-back is free to arc release to the outside. 
and this should be a play that will get you a lot of quick yards. Uh, again, this is a play where you can imagine if the play side wide receiver is on the other side and the cornerback goes with him, that's a lot of space uh, to run with a spare blocker with only the free safety to stop you. So both of these plays to the out are to the outside, so I wanted to make sure to throw something inside for you. Uh, so a, a fake rocket QB ISO, again, your terminology may be different, uh, with the idea being the QB is going to open up and reverse pivot, fake the rocket to the motioning A-back. The play side A-back is going to insert through that B-gap to get the linebacker, and the quarterback's just going to follow. Uh, some coaching points on this, uh, your B-back can spread way out if that outside backer is going to go with him or try to split the difference to take him away from the play. Uh, if that D-tackle on the play side is more in like a 3 or a 4 eye, uh, wash him to the outside and tell your A-back to just turn up the first open hole so that he may come in an extra gap um, and wind up going through that A-gap or 2-hole, whatever you want to call it. And that's where the quarterback will follow. So especially in empty, if the middle of the field opens up, that's a great one to spring a quick QB run. And now for our new segment. Uh, and very, very originally uh, decided to call it the Flexbone 101 Week 1 Empty Set Challenge. Uh, and by challenge, more of an opportunity. Uh, so what this will be is if you are a high school coach, I don't even care if it's high school. If you're a college coach, awesome. If you're a middle school coach, love it. Uh, at whatever level you are coaching, um, ideally in week one, since we are just about in the last week of June. Uh, so that gives us some time to game plan. That gives us some time to install. Uh, first game shouldn't be happening for another month and a half at the earliest. Um, so this is what I'd love to see. So I'd love to see you as a coach call a few plays out of empty in week one. Then hopefully after a great win, um, you would send the film to me via email or via huddle. Um, and I'd be able to break it down. Right. And I, you know, if you want pointers on other things, I can do that too. If you actually send me film. Uh, with the idea of I can make a follow-up video using your film and we can actually show what some of this stuff looks like in practice. Uh, so many teams either don't have a check to empty or they only have one check to empty. You might find a ripple that you really like uh, that you can exploit for an entire game and then force an entire season's worth of defensive coordinators to have to game plan against that when they already have to try to teach option responsibilities in like four days. Um, so they'll love that. So you'll thank me later after that. Um, and hopefully, uh, I don't know what the turnout for this is going to be, but if I can get a few people to do it and make kind of a cool follow-up video, maybe we'll do some more challenges, maybe have some people uh, join videos in you know a podcast type situation or a live stream. Um, to really highlight the teams, the coaches uh, who run this offense that we can all learn from. And also because you might be sick of listening to my voice. So maybe we'll bring some other people on. So that's the week one challenge. Uh, we'll blast that out. I'm sure I'll make some more videos to remind people of that. Um, and those should be, you know, this is, like I said, late June. So maybe two, two months from now, we might have some solid content. Um, also, because I'll be using some of our high school film too, so it's always cool to see other films. So that's our quick video on the empty formation. Uh, let me know what you think below. Do you have favorite plays out of empty? Do you run out of empty often? Is this something you're already doing and I look like an idiot because you already do? Um, I'd also love to hear, uh, I'm an offensive guy, so if you're a defensive coach watching this, I'd love to know what your defense against these plays would be. I'd love to know what your checks would be. Um, I'd love to know what you're scared about. Uh, that's always the fun thing to do this with defensive coaches that I'm close with. Um, I'll try not to reveal too many of their secrets, but uh, definitely something I think is cool. So, you know, email, comment, subscribe, whatever it is you do. Uh, hope you have a great night and looking forward to hopefully some great empty sets in week one.